is going on guys? Welcome back. Today's a very interesting video because we have Element CV2, is that the name, right? Yeah. We have his Honda Accord here. This is actually a 2.0, six speed manual. And we are here with, you guys already know, Lewis from VCD Racing, who they actually just took the car to the track. And what was the numbers that you guys laid down? Uh, 1293. So technically, there is a higher record right now for the overall Accord, which is a 10 speed. Mm -hmm. But this is like gonna be the fastest six speed manual at the moment. Okay. So like, I think the last record was 13 won something and we beat that on our first run nice, nice so unfortunately the entire day was a waste of time honestly in my opinion just because we went all the way to vegas and out of a nine hour day we only got two runs in the entire day so oh, man. Uh, whatever happened you know we only got two runs in on the second run we beat the record but the car has so much more in it and we just need to do something out here in california and just find a different track that is going to be able to give us that time and you know and that and practice, that practice just to actually that. get a perfect time on this but like i said so today's video is very unique because i feel like a lot of my 10th gen followers especially have either 1.5 liters or even a type r but i feel like we rarely get to see the six speed not 10 speed six speed accords and with this one this is actually something that has a lot of custom stuff done to it i'll have lewis go ahead and explain but we're gonna go ahead and pop the hood get you guys on a breakdown go for a spin and uh yeah so it's a long day guys so let's get it going So this is going to be their v2 they do have an oem style for the accord but we waited those extra six months to get this <laughs> oh man all right so now we pop in the hood uh, yeah it's your basic type r right <laughs> now nah, just messing here so it does have a type r turbo uh type r down pipe we did a custom type r inlet pipe uh we made a this is before we did all this before piero announced their conversion kit so what we had to do here is this is like Maybe six months ago, we had to make a custom map from this to this actual inlet pipe. This is like a two inch diameter and I believe that one was like a 275. So there was a big difference in like, in the, you can see it here, like we actually had to make the a, a custom road here and actually expand this out to make this be able, everything to be able to fit properly. This is like, like I'm telling you, before anything has like any of the, the piping kit or when we started with the car, we only really had the turbo. And we were like, okay, what can we do differently? So after this, um, we ended up putting uh, basically a full exhaust system from the turbo back. It does have a three inch after the front pipe. And then it has like a, a vibrant resonator and two Borla mufflers all around each tip. It is a dual, like a dual exhaust. Uh, and then after that, we had an E85, a little catch can, and then we are tuned on Hendata. The car made around 393 to the wheel. So that's not a, we did that on a roller dyno. So, I mean, take it as you is. I know people have a lot of disputes about roller and hub and you know, whatever it is, you know, I, I don't care. That's, that's what the numbers are. But we ended up doing uh, a custom valve cover for him. This is all like made in house. So we ended up buying a whole brand new, brand new cover. Okay, this uh, nice metallic loop. And then about three months in, we added the charge pipe kit with the intercooler. So this is all pretty much brand new. Uh, and that definitely opened up the car a lot. And after that, we were pretty much full bolts on already. We had the intake, the turbo, you know, we were making around like, we made 383 on a hub. So, I mean, however you calculate it, you know, I don't know realistically how much power that was. Uh, but it, I mean, obviously it's different between a hub and a, and a roller. Right, right. So, we made 3 around the hub the first time. But then after, we just started doing like other stuff. Like we started doing some cosmetic stuff. There's a lot more stuff coming in the future for the car. It's just a lot of stuff has to be made and it's custom. And you know, like, so we're taking our time with it little by little. Um, yeah, so now fast forward like two weeks ago, we ended up doing a fuel pipe mod for the, basically the, for the fuel rail to the high flow pump. There's like a little pipe that goes that basically connects both of them. And what we ended up doing was doing a, 
just making the, the feed hole slightly bigger and we were able to bump up our ethanol content about another 10 percent so, so what ethanol content are you guys on right now yeah. again so right now the, the system is maxed at e40 right now e40 like that's about it like we can't get anything out of it anymore but before we were like really stuck at like e30 so we did get a good bump in ethanol and that did increase our power overall on the roller so the next thing like unfortunately we're gonna have to do is like we're gonna have to strip this whole turbo kit off and add more fuel we want more power so we're gonna have to do more more to it and then now that's pretty much the, the engine now let's get to like the transmission side it does have a, a action clutch stage 5 uh, pressure plate with an iron man disc so the entire plate itself is, is iron that's what they call it iron man you know it has a lightweight flywheel the flywheel weighs about uh, 17 pounds compared to the dual mass i think it was around like 34 something like that so it was a big weight difference in there and then everyone's favorite part is the ppg one through five in it so we ended up not breaking the trans but it was more of a safety you know just a precaution yeah you guys exactly wanted to... we want to have an insurance yeah. just in case we would break the transmission because we had terrible experience with the 1.5 so they offered this and as to my knowledge this is the only accord that has ppg, PPG in it okay. so which is you know pretty sick in its own um and then we did the ppg first and then we did some more research see what else we could do from the car and we dropped the trans again reopened it and we added an lsd to it because oh. this car comes non-lsd from oh. the factory so we added a type r lsd with the type r final uh, final drive gear so we went from a 3.9 to a 4.1 so our acceleration actually increased so this is basically at this point just a type r trans in there <laughs> it just doesn't have an oil cooler like like the stock type r does you know mm -hmm. so and it doesn't have like the auto rev match like a module and all that stuff but uh, besides that uh yeah i mean how about the block is the block built at all it's stock that's a completely stock block yeah, holding all that stock, power like, completely 100 percent. nothing's done to it it just has oil <laughs> okay nice nice, <laughs> that's, nice. A different, that's about it and you said what intercooler are you guys running again this is, uh, everything's pure out okay you can kind of barely see it in there yeah so the only weird thing about the cord is that it has to have this like lane, lane watch assistant so if you don't have it you get like a bunch of errors and it kind of just gets all screwed up but i wish it was this was open so we could get more cooling through here this is a big blockage yeah no most definitely besides that too uh we have TN coil levers all around. We have a set of C28 all around with uh, some Bahamas. And then we do have a six piston Willwood kit for the front. Everything in the rear, uh, brake wise, is just it's stock. But it does have suspension. Um, it does have full like uh, anti roll bars. And yeah, it actually just, it's a pretty good street car, like as it is right now. But eventually we are going to make a lot more power on it, which is future videos coming up but hopefully like we can get into like close to the 500s like just as is like this okay and hopefully we don't blow the block up <laughs> <laughs> yeah most definitely nice nice and here it is guys again this is a 2.0 accord six speed manual pretty amazing build this is uh element cv2s so make sure to check out him he's also got the carbon trunk too and then we got the exhaust here in the back yeah, yeah, let's get it. Let me hear it from the front too. some cutting and some custom holes and stuff like that with threads but we got the actual shifter to like fit in properly and then we ha we changed the accord shift linkage cables from obviously the six-piece manual accord to the type r six-piece manual accord. oh I see. so I see. this is all type r so the, the crazy part is that these little these little like weights right here this
is what makes the biggest difference is these weights that's what gives you that throw and, I, and I, i've never noticed it until i i got a set of these uh-huh uh, I wish it would fit the SI, but that'd be pretty sick. But they don't, unfortunately. But, oh, I see, I see. But so this is the, and then uh, with this we have a uh, basically a carbon steering wheel with uh, this has like integrated like, speed and gauge and everything. Here, let me just turn it on real quick. This guy right here. So. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, you have to actually plug it in. Yeah, but I had that Hondata plugged in. It does run Hondata. Uh, but you had that plugged in because you probably wanted to check your readings and stuff. Yeah, right? I, I had it because we were we just literally I haven't driven the car since we came back from the track. So usually on the daily basis we just. Oh. This was like custom made for this car. Um, he got the the blue Alcantara with the RPM digital. So right here, it'll actually read everything for us. That's pretty nice. And then you guys put the bucket seat too. Yeah, so the bucket seat is not going to stay. This was just for the day of the track. Um, most of this car as, of, as it is right now, you can tell that like, it's gutted, but it was just because we were trying to save as much weight as possible. Uh -huh. So most of the time, like 95% of the time, the car actually has like a full interior. And uh, without the interior and with one seat, we saved around about uh, about 300 pounds, like 350 pounds, with everything in the car. So we did get rid of the spare tire, all that stuff, uh, just to save some weight, you know. So anyway, you it, made, it made a big difference. So you guys gonna put all this weight back then? Everything's oh, yeah, gonna, we're gonna back. put back. We're gonna put the weight back. It was, okay. just, it was just for that day, but. Nice, nice. Um, yeah, so the steering wheel. This is like the eye catcher for everybody. Everybody likes the fucking steering wheel, just because if you really look at it when it starts to drive, it even has like the lights and everything nice yeah so it's pretty sick and then it when once it hits to the top it tells you it has a shift indicator and everything so i think it's pretty cool and then it even has like a, this car doesn't come with the boost gauge so you get uh like basically engine power percentage you get uh, temperature and then you actually get the bars it's per bar it's not like a regular like uh Usually like on the Civics, you see like, it'll go by like one, two, three, four PSI. This is by bar, bar sensor. So it'd be like, depending on how many bars you have, you calculate that's how many, how much boost you have, you know? But yeah, stuff like that. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, the car usually drives pretty, like pretty like normal, you know? It's a normal everyday Accord, you know? But <laughs> it makes some good power for what it is. And uh, yeah, it does have uh, like coilovers and stuff like that. You could tell like it's kind of a little bit bouncy. But it's just, you know, it's a normal car with coilovers. Uh, you can definitely feel that. I like how he has uh, the blue theme going on here too. You got bride pretty much all around, especially there. Yeah, usually all the door panels will be on with the bride. Uh, so just picture this all around. Right, um, yeah. So you guys can see too, <laughs> this side's got it as well. So this is fully deleted. Pretty much everything back here, huh? Yeah, the door card actually is pretty heavy, honestly, you know, surprisingly. Do you know how much these weigh stock? The car, the whole car itself? Yeah. With the whole weight, car everything. itself. Um, so we had it weighed before the track and after the weight reduction. So we were around like 3,500 pounds with the driver in it. Oh, okay. So passenger and everything, you know, like driver, driver car with the full interior. And then with me in it, with just the seat and everything else removed, uh, we came down to like 31, 31 something, like 3180 something. So you shaved off a good amount of weight. We shaved a good amount of weight. Yeah. And they also put this seat in here just, just so they can fit me in here so we can go ahead and film the whole video. Otherwise, I have to hold up a kind of a weird stance to definitely uh, film this. So appreciate you, Lewis. We appreciate it. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is kind of like a last minute type thing, but we made, we made it happen. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know. The steering wheel is like the centerpiece right here, honestly. This and the shifter, like no, everyone, we get so many, like we go to take this car to car meets and stuff. They're like, how did you guys put a shifter? Some people don't even know that this car comes manual. They're yeah, like- No, a lot of people, I noticed that these are usually the 10 speeds, right? Yeah, the 10 speeds, yeah, exactly. Yeah, these are usually the 10 speeds. And Acuity doesn't make- Make this for this car, no. Oh, okay. Like this is literally off of a Type R and like we custom fitted it to the Accord just so we can have like a, a faster shift you know yeah throw and everything, uh, yeah basically it just, everything kind of just helps for 
you know, more, more for like the driver than anything. I mean, I, I preferred, I'm so used to my car and I have the same setup, exactly the same, like same settings, everything. Mm -hmm. It's just like, at me that I was driving the car on the drag strip, like I just felt more comfortable just throwing it in with this type of shifter. Cause the stock one honestly is like very loose. Like it's just super loose and I just didn't feel comfortable driving the car like that. Cause I was like, man, I'm gonna miss a shift, you know? And then, um, you wanna do a quick launch? Yeah, go ahead. It does have two stepper. was like reading wrong the entire time the horsepower was like i don't know i guess the way it was calibrated but the horsepower was it was spot on but the torque was just i don't know i don't know how they like well, however they plug you it think into it the, made less or it's supposed to be making more i think maybe it made like a slight bit more than what it was reading okay okay yeah because um they kept having an issue with like the ignition coil like something about the ignition coil like reading the the, the actual like the, like the dyno or i don't know what it was happening but um, it was just like a small little issue, but they, they said that most likely like, the torque itself was gonna be off by a little bit because okay. of the way that they calculated it off of the ignition or wh whatever they were, you know, whatever whatever they tell you. you know? mm -hmm. But um, I mean, it's still you can feel it. It makes a good amount of torque. Yeah. Let's um, get maybe uh, we'll we'll head over to a nice clear open road up here in Mexico in a bit and uh, maybe do like a second gear pull. Yeah. We get a little bit more where we're not spinning so much. Yeah, because we spent a lot the whole time. Yeah, yeah, we, we spun that whole first. And right now we have, we have we too. we have the two steps set up at six k, but with slicks. Obviously, we're on like a street tire right now, so right, this right. boy is not gonna grip at all. Yeah, no, I can imagine. Oh yeah, so you know if you wanna turn the car off, put it in. This is this is custom too, you know. <laughs> right, we're gonna have to get on that side just so you guys can see that. But that's where the e-brake is, and what else? Sport mode or? Uh, this car doesn't come with sport mode. That's oh, okay, okay. eco mode. So we can save some gas. <laughs> <laughs> and it has the brake hose right here. Everything still works. Um, we are going to put a different st style of sparkle in the car. Um, but it's going to be more like uh, street friendly. Yeah, this is more yeah, of a track. Is, this, this is, is a track car. This is what yeah. we use in our, like, this Halo style. We use it in basically our, like, track Civic. And then we also just disabled VSC or uh, yeah, VSC, yeah, VSA. Yeah, VSA off, yeah. My bad. VSA completely off, so. I think it's like vehicle, vehicle stability systems. control. Yeah, stability, or, uh, stability vehicle assist. Stability assist. Man, show you Just a quick view of the interior, and if you guys are wondering where the parking brake is, there's a little bit of custom fab there too. We're still gonna do more to the interior, but it's just, it's gonna be like cleaning stuff up. I mean, a lot of it was just because of the shifter. Like that mm -hmm. changed a lot of stuff. So we had to figure out where we can mount stuff, stuff like that. So before the seat, it was actually perfect because I could have like just, you could do it with your hand, but because of how the seat is set up, um, this seat isn't gonna be in here. It's just kind of a temporary thing, but we are gonna put some better, like street friendly streets in there. You can be comfortable driving in, you know? Uh, but yeah, the shifter for sure is like the game changer for no one. I mean, I, I eventually, I'm pretty sure they're gonna make one. It's just more about like, we needed it and we can't wait for the market to just, you know, like yeah. just happen, you know? So we had to do it ourselves.
right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and end the video out here. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was great to see the Element CV2 2.0 Accord. Thanks to Lewis again from VCD. Yeah, if you guys ever need any help with your Accords or your Civics, uh, let us know, DM us. We'll be able to give you a good helping hand. And yeah, thank you for Fong for basically showing this car off. This is our, you know, our bread and butter right here. And hopefully we can make more power. And guys, again, I want to thank you guys so much for the support. I know that because I don't own a 10 Gen SI doesn't mean that 10 Gen content won't still be included. It was great to make this video here with Lewis, and I appreciate you guys watching. I hope that this little bit of a difference can excite you guys too to see this platform as well be pushing limits too. So hopefully we see this at five. We'll see you soon with Lewis. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Keep grinding, stay humble, and yeah.